factorial. It is a product of numbers from 1 to n. So when we write n factorial, it is n into n minus 1 into n minus 2, so on till 1. For example, 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1, which is 6. 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. And this is 120. What do you think will be 0 factorial? 0 factorial is taken as 1. This is important. Keep this in your mind. Binomial coefficients. When we go for expansion of a plus b power n, this is nc0 a power n b power 0 plus nc1 a power n minus 1 b power 1 plus nc2 a power n minus 2 b power 2 and so on. And the last term will be ncn a power 0 and b power n. The coefficient of ab is termed as the binomial coefficient. And the generalized notation for this will be ncr. And the expansion for this is n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial. Here, one very important thing to note it is found that the first and the last coefficients are same, the second and the second last, third and the third last, these were found to be same. Based on these observations, we can write ncr will be equal to n c n minus r that is a coefficient in the same position but taken from the ending let's take an example to understand this look at this 8 c 2 this is 8 factorial by 8 minus 2 that is 6 factorial into 2 factorial now when you expand this this becomes in the expansion we will see that the 6 factorial this will be cancelled with the numerator so whenever we expand, we need not write each and every term. In the numerator, we just write the terms equivalent to r. So we have 2, just expand it only till 2 terms. If I have 12c3, since r is 3, expand 12 only till 3 terms. So this we can write as 12 into 11 into 10 divided by 3 factorial. 3 into 2 into 1. Pascal's triangle. Let's write the expansion of a plus b power n. For different n values. Let's start with 0. a plus b power 0 will be 1. Then a plus b power 1 will be a plus b. a plus b whole square will be a square plus 2ab plus b square. Then a plus b whole cube is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube and so on. Now, in this expansion, if you look at the coefficients, there is a pattern. It is observed that the coefficient at a specific position in a specific row is basically the summation of the terms in the previous row at the same position and the previous position. You can even look here. So, 3 is summation of this and this, and 2 is summation of this and this. So, using this logic, we can generalize this as if I keep on expanding, we will have a plus b power n and a plus b power n plus 1. And if I take a term over here, n plus 1 cr, this will be basically an addition of ncr as well as the previous term ncr minus 1, which is n plus 1 cr is a summation of nc r minus 1 and nc r an important observation to be memorized we know that a plus b power n is a summation of nc r a power n minus r b power r suppose i take a and b as 1 in the above expression the right hand side will become 1 plus 1 2 power n will be equal to in the right hand side a is 1 and b is 1 so these two terms won't be there it will be only ncr with summation. So this can be written as nc0 plus nc1 so on till ncn. From this we can add as summation of ncr from 0 to n will be 2 power n. On the same lines instead of 1 and 1 if I take a as 1 and b as 
minus 1. Then in the left hand side, this becomes 0. And in the right hand side, because of this minus 1, we will be getting negative for alternating terms. So this will be nc0 minus nc1 plus nc2 and so on.